Ladies and gentlemen, you see, as you can see on, in this video, you can see that a Do State Governor has issued a warning. Or let me paraphrase it. A Do State Governor has issued a threat to the people that we covered at the Edo State Air Court on Monday 15th of July 2024 to show solidarity and support to our revered father over the court case between the palace and Chief uh, Enoge Ben, the Enoge suspended Enoge Ben and uh, Prince Akenzwa, the suspended chief of Enoge Wobadusa. Now, the governor of Edo State that initially said they have no hand in the case, they are also one of the accused, blah, blah, blah. I've come outside the game now to say that there are videos that are flying on social media because some concerned Edo sons and daughters have been making posts, making videos to sensitize or inform the public that on Monday 15th of July 2024 that everybody, every well-meaning concerned lawyer son to the palace should converge at the court to make sure that they follow up with the court proceeding but now the state government the state government is trying to twist the narrative to suit whatsoever narrative they are trying to paint let me read the the publication for you the edo state government on saturday condemned social media posts urging people to disrupt the operations of the Bini High Court on Monday. The court, which will be presided over by Justice Peter Ahienro, will resume hearing the case by suspended Enige Duke, led by Duke of Ewobanosa and Egban Siloko Dukedom in Benin Kingdom, Professor Gregory Akenzwa and Chief Edo Wonyi Ogiegban, challenging their suspension from office by the Oba. At the last hearing on May 9th, over 100 priests, priestesses and palace chiefs stormed the high court chanting curses against the enemies of the Oba. Two suspended Enige Dukes of Ewobanusa and Egbansi Loko Dukedom in Benin Kingdom, Professor Gregory Akenswa and Chief Edo Wonyi Ogiegban had on behalf of some others sued the monarch at Edo High Court challenging their suspension from office. In a statement by the Edo State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Neihai, he said, the Edo State government hereby condemned in the strongest term the recent post circulating on social media platform inciting and urging people to disrupt the operation of the Benin High Court on Monday, July 15th. It is highly disheartening that there have been attempts to interfere with the judicial process through threats and display aimed at inciting public unrest. It is imperative to emphasize that the rule of law must prevail and all arms of government must be allowed to carry out their functions without fear of intimidation or disruption. The sanctity, the sanctity of our institution must be upheld at all times. The government is aware that some unscrupulous politicians are behind the plan to sponsor violence with the aim of disrupting the peace in the state to score cheap political points. We call on youths in the state not to allow themselves to be used to perpetrate violence and cause crisis in the state. We also call on the parents to protect their children from being exploited by persons who want to disrupt peace for political gain. Neikari said, the state government will punish any individual or group found to be involved in activities that undermine the peace in the state. The Edo state government will take all lawful action against any individual or group found to be involved in any activities that undermine the peace in the state. We urge all law-abiding citizens to reject and ignore any call to disrupt the peace in the state and to refrain from engaging in any action that could jeopardize public order. It is only through respect for the rule of law due process that we can ensure a just and orderly society for all. It is therefore in the best interest of all law-abiding citizens of our dear state that we join, that we enjoy everyone to join hand with the government in safeguarding the integrity of our institutions and preserving the peace and harmony of our beloved Edo state, he added. You see, 
That is what the state government said through the office of uh, Chris Neihai. It is Chris Neihai now that spoke on behalf of Edo state government, trying to paint a narrative of uh, politicians are using people that uh, those uh, youth should not be used, trying to paint a narrative that uh, we must protect our institution, uh, we must, uh, uh, we, anybody that is found trying to break down law and order will be dealt with by the Edo state government. Gele. You see, the Benin Traditional Council is the highest institution as far as that Benin is concerned, especially when it comes to customary law. First, it was never the court that installed a nogi in a bad community and the Wabanusa. It was the authority of the palace that installed them as a nogi. And the authority that installed them as a Luge, that same authority have now said they are no longer part and parcel of the Luge system. And they are dragging him to an institution that is not in position to, to speak on that regard. But however, I'm not here to question the law of the land or what have you. I'm here to sensitize the general public. Please, while going to the court, go there, be prepared for the worst. Because the government has threatened now that they will deal with anybody they found there. So when they are here, go there with your cameras, show the world, let the whole world see the kind of bullying and oppression that Governor Baseki and his gang is trying to do to Edo people that are trying to come and show solidarity to our Reverend Monarch on the 15th of July 2024 at Edo State Air Court along Benisa Play Road. When you are going there, Carry camera. Go on live video. Tag me. Share your video. Tag anybody you know that is active online. Tag Insta blog. Tag Tunde Edno. Tag the whole world. So that we will not see the level of bully they are bringing. Because we rightly know that in Nigeria, when there are cases that are being pre uh, pre preceded over in court, People go there, sit down, then listen and observe the case. In as much as people are not coming to make any chaos, any form of uh, trouble there, why do you not restrict people from coming to the courtroom? So, on Monday 15th of July 2024, all loyal sons and daughters that are loyal to the palace of the uh, Benin should converge at, at Benin Court along Benin Sapler Road. And we are here with Dojo. Oh, bad, I talk, baby. He said...